My name is Sarah Haggett. I'm head of school at Craighead Primary School, which forms part of the Fern Federation, which is Kevin Primary and Craighead. I think for me it was really important to study in this type of way because I'm a working mother, full-time mother that holds a leadership role and it allowed me the flexibility to be able to uh, combine my studies and um, continue with my work without it impacting on either really. So it allowed me a flexible approach to be able to develop my own professional learning and continue to have somewhat of a home life um, work balance. I think because it's based in professional practice and it's what you're doing on a daily basis, it's allowed us the opportunity if, that it doesn't impact that greatly. Um, obviously, in terms of research, there is the, the pre-reading and obviously requisite reading that goes with that. But the university have been excellent with us to allow us flexible learning opportunities. So if we need support, we can Skype in, we can meet in different places. So um, for a work-life balance, it's actually been uh, far better to me than actually going and maybe studying a course that requires you to go two or three nights a week so and it's based in school so everything that we do when we're reflecting and building on that um, and obviously having the support from the university to give us the research um, has been invaluable to all of us. My final project is looking at um, the impact of Lego therapy on autistic spectrum disorder children. Um, we currently have quite a number of children who are based in our school that have been diagnosed with autism and we're obviously trying to find a way to be fully inclusive and help support those children and navigate their way socially and emotionally through the school. Um, obviously with ASD from a personal perspective my son um, has autism so it's something that's close to home but also impacts the school as a wider sort of the community, it helps support the pupils through the school, helps support the parents to know that their child's being fully um, supported and obviously from a personal thing it can only benefit me at home so it's a win-win situation. As a firm federation, we are very much committed to professional learning. Every member of staff within the school, no matter what their role or responsibility within the school was, was afforded the opportunity to take on this sort of um, learning approach. So whether that was accessing a degree course, so we've got somebody, one of our LSAs, that is actually continuing um, with a degree course that she wouldn't have had the opportunity to do so beforehand. And then obviously um, some teachers and LSAs who've already got their degrees decided to take on their masters. Um, so so no matter what the role, no matter what the responsibility they had within the school, every single person across the Federation was afforded the opportunity. We're committed to professional learning in the school and for us it's great to have it in-house and develop all these lovely things but actually to have the expertise of Trinity to come in and support our colleagues which will only benefit the children long term. If we're looking at a holistic approach the professional sort of learning pathways that Trinity have afforded of us have impacted on standards in school so for me it, it was a sort of no-lose situation. So obviously as a school Trinity have also been able to afford us the opportunity to help support us with the new teaching standards and leadership standards which obviously look at collaboration, uh, pedagogy, leadership, innovation and research methods. So for us it's been um, a vital part of developing what we've learned from Trinity and putting that into practice and that benefits them when we come to looking at their professional development and professional standards. I think it's something that as a leader you don't tend to have the opportunity to do which is stop and reflect. I think more often than not you're reacting to situations and you don't get that opportunity to actually stop, think and reflect on how your actions actually have impact on those and around you and the wider stakeholders. So for me the, the ability to develop as a reflective practitioner and leader has been I feel beneficial to those around me and to myself. Um, hopefully what we've seen is the development and growth of those around me who have started doing this course with me and they are developing their leadership skills and their reflective practitioner skills um, and together we've created quite a close-knit bond because we are joined together in this research journey which is impacting on all of us which has been greatly beneficial to us all. Our self-esteem and just our, our own uh, journey as, as learners I think we've really promoted that to the children around us that you never stop learning and I think for us we we are always talking about being role models and scaffolding and showing children what we want them to do. But actually now we are having to do the same thing. So we have to organise ourselves and the children love the fact that we are going back to school and that we are learning. And they're taking great joy out of the fact that Mrs Haggart goes back to school to learn. So they love that. And also the teachers are demonstrating their skills through their daily practice and through their innovative teaching practices.
I've lived it. Um, I think for me, it's given me opportunities I probably wouldn't have had. I've met people that I wouldn't ordinarily have met and it's widened my sort of uh, stakeholder network. I've, I've met people from HR departments, I've met people from catering departments and they've all brought in a wealth of experience and um, professional learning and information that I wouldn't have had before. So I, I haven't only just been working with colleagues within education, it's been a wide uh, sort of spectrum of people I've worked with, which has benefited me greatly. I've loved it.